Greetings. I'm here to prophesy to someone today. I have a rhema word. Um, if you have a Bible, you can pull it out and follow along with me. If not, I have the scriptures and will read them to you for clarity and understanding. Um, today, God is saying to you, you are my diadem. You are my diadem. I did not understand when the Lord first brought me this word, um, and I'm receiving more clarity and understanding. The more I research, the more I dig into it. So he first brought me to um, today's scripture, which was for somebody. Obviously, that was in Isaiah chapter 27, verse 10. And I think it correlates with this message as well. That scripture says, Yet the defense city shall be desolate, and the habitation forsaken, and left like a wilderness, there shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branches thereof. Um, somebody who this video is for is feeling desolate. Somebody is feeling empty. Unworthy is the word the Holy Spirit just brought to me. You're feeling unworthy. Um... And God is saying, you are my diadem. So the first time I seen this was in Isaiah 28, 5. And that scripture says, um, bear with me just a second. That scripture says, in that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people. So I didn't, I'm not familiar with that word. I didn't understand what they meant. So the Holy Spirit said, look it up. When I look it up and you can look it up on Google yourself. Um, uh, also be sure to ask um, like how it relates to the Bible when you type in the question, because it may just provide you with um, like the most recent definitions of modern times and things. Um, but in this era, the, the era that the Bible was written, it means crown or royalty. Um, it, was, it was a crown worn by royalty. Because the Bible does use the word crown, but that is more of... Um, it's gearing more towards another aspect. And I think that's why God is specifically used the word diadem. It's um, so you, like I said, God said, you are my diadem. We are his crown, his crown of royalty. Right. So then he led me um, and in research. So let's not forget that part. In research of diadem, there is a scripture in Isaiah chapter 62, verse 3, which proves that God is really saying that you, whoever this message is for, and I believe is for me and a bunch of other people, but there's somebody specific he's talking to. You feel desolate right now, but you need to understand that you are his diadem. Uh, Isaiah 62 3 thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God he you are his diadem he's saying you are his diadem he also led me to Isaiah 29 7 and 8 and it says and the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel even all that fight against her and her munition and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision and it shall even be as when a hungry man dreameth and behold he eateth but he awaketh and his soul is empty or as when a thirsty man dreameth and behold he drinketh but he awaketh and behold he is faint and his soul hath appetite so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against mount zion God is saying that uh, he's referring to your enemies. He had me write down your enemies. Those who come against you is, is what he's referring to in 7 and 8. It, it shall be as when a hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh. And his soul is empty, or as when he is thirsty and dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awakened behold he is he is faint so they they will not 
thank you holy spirit they will not succeed in what they are trying to do and they will constantly feel thank you holy spirit the emptiness the desolateness that you are currently feeling they will feel um he also said cry no more cry no more whoever this word is for god bless you i pray healing and anointing over you right now in the name of jesus that you will never feel desolate again that you will take upon god as your diadem and live in the fact that you know in your heart that you are his diadem that you will never cry again that he will avenge you vengeance is yours lord is what the word says in jesus mighty and matchless name i do pray amen amen whoever you are stop feeling desolate stop feeling empty you are god's diadem you are his crown of royalty he he takes pride in you you will cry no more i feel the holy spirit so much right now whoever you are i pray that you find this video i pray that um it spreads until it finds you and it resonates in your spirit if you have to listen to this again listen to it again if you have to open up your bible and read these scriptures yourself read them again like i said this is isaiah 62 3 this is Isaiah 28, 5. This is Isaiah 29, 7, and 8. If you need to read them again, read them again. You are his diadem. You are no longer desolate. For they will take on that desolation. For they will thirst and hunger, but it will not come unto them. Okay? May God bless you. I love you. God loves you way more than I do. Be obedient. Be blessed. And I'll see you next time.